What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hustle with Jesse W and today got a nice little triple over there to share with you. Check it out. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right on into this video here. And uh, before we do, you know what time it is. Do me the quick favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and comment in the comment section below, even if it's just to say what's up. That's the trifecta of feeding the YouTube algorithm, which makes this channel uh, more favorable to the algo, and it pushes it up in the suggestions area, helps me grow. And remember, the faster I grow and we get to 10,000 subscribers, the faster we can do that raffle where I'm gonna fund your trading account to that one lucky winner. Now, let's go ahead and jump into this day. Today was an interesting day. We had, uh, let's see here, TWMC. Okay, I have, like actually, well, see, you see me here, I had drawn some Fib levels. Let me let me get these out of the way here. Uh, okay, so these Fib levels, can we get rid of them? There we go, okay, so they're gone, boom. So TWMC, I have this recorded as well, uh, made a huge move. Then we had uh, Spy with a little dump fest of itself. And we have that recorded. And we have, uh, let's see here, SPCE with its own little pullback uh, with that recorded as well. So we have you know some trades to go over here. Also GMPX, which will be my first trade. I do not have this recorded, but I did a swing trade on this. I alerted it yesterday. Uh, well, not alerted. I put out the the tweet where said I was in a swing trade. Um, I bought this here at 4:33. I bought it uh, right before the market close, and I was expecting a gap up. We had this unusual volume and and break of this 4:30 area, um, and I thought you know we're gonna get. Uh, a gap up in the morning you know in pre-market at the very least we'll get a gap up maybe to 450 480 and then you know bell rings we might squeeze this up over five dollars or if they actually drop the press release that we've been waiting for for them you know it's a press release talking about how they closed off the offering that they were supposed to close off either today or yesterday you know we could expect this thing to maybe have a nice pop because the offering was uh at three three something, three dollars and change. And this thing has held up well above that. So we thought, you know, we can get a nice little pop here. No dice in a sense. I mean, it didn't have a nice gap up by the bell, but let me show you the pre-market action. When I woke up, this is what I, this is what I was welcome to, right? We yesterday closed off after hours at $4 and 50 cents, which got me excited and pumped up. But then this pre-market, we gapped it all the way down to the 420s. I was in at 4.33, I ended up selling it out up here as we broke over 4.30s and uh, booked a couple bucks. I tweeted a screenshot, so you can see that. If you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you check the links in the description section below for my Twitter account, you can follow me there. I post up uh, my watch list every so often as well. Um, so, I mean, I closed that off. It kind of sucks because it went up, but my targets really were five bucks, so I probably wouldn't have sold out and I'd just be babysitting this now and I hate babysitting slow, low volume trades. I really do. So I closed that off and that was it. Now let's move on to the next day, the next trades and uh, how I actually started off my morning. But before we do, let me let you know, link in the description section below there is uh, Weeble, it's an app, it's a stock trading app, much like Robinhood, and uh, only better, has much more tools. And if you use my link to download the app and fund your account, you get two free stocks. So that's free money. Once you get those stocks, you can keep them or sell them and then go to lunch. You can't say no to free money, so why would you? Link in the description section below, make sure you take advantage of that. Now, SPCE was my first trade of the day. As you can see, I'm in 20 contracts. Cost base is 26 cents, cheap enough and uh, expired today, uh, strike price $30. And I was looking for it to just basically fall out of bed, just swoop, like big fat red candles on the way down and uh, make some major bank, right? That's what I thought. Um, but it kind of caught some support down here. And I mean, I exited the trade profitable. It's a green trade, but it wasn't the best thing in the world either. So I put out an order to sell 10 of them at 40 cents from 26 out of 10 of the 20 contracts right here in front of the lower day because I'm going to be smart. I know this can be a support area, so I'm going to take off some right there. Hold on to the other 10 to see if we can make that push down lower on the day. So right here, I'll put an order out on the ask at 40 cents. 
but I get no fill because there's a lot of contracts on the ask at 40 cents. I get no fill and we're sure to get that bounce. And uh, I quickly just go ahead and mark it out of that. Right there, when we get that action right there that you see, I, I pause everything. I pause everything because that can easily become a nasty dump candle. And I was basically salivating like if I was sitting at the dinner table w waiting for a ribeye steak. So I didn't do anything. I waited. I was patient there. But once it started to jump back up there, I uh, canceled my, my first take profit order. And I just bang out of it right here. And I sell out at... 35 cents from 26 cents so made nine 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 dollars there i'm sorry nine nine cents uh so that came out to be a net of 164 bucks you know nothing to write home about but nice nice way to start the day nice base hit that's a base hit started off the day with a base hit can't complain about that now what happened with spc after that let me take off the extended hours here let's go over to spce it ended up making you know, and it ended up right here. This is the candle I sold out in, and the very next candle, boom. So that kind of sucked, but now it's rebound all the way back up. SPCE is a wild one. I'm just happy to be green on that name. Uh, then after that, we had TWMC going insane. And look at that. Look at this. And it keeps going. Check it out. And it just keeps going. And I'm like, okay. Now, let's get me a pullback down here to 650 area where this previous halt price is, you know, in front of the 90, uh, 90 MA VWAP area. So, you know, we're getting some support areas lining up down there, but I want the pullback down there. This thing doesn't do it. It just holds on to $7. Look at this. Then I switch over to SPY when that didn't give me my pullback. And I'm just looking for opportunity. This is me looking for opportunity. You've never seen me do this because I never show all these because I've never really just left the thing recording. But I decided to do that today. And this is just me looking for opportunities. You know, I'll switch back, TWMC, SPY, looking for somewhere. Like I'm looking for somewhere where I can just jump in there and uh, make some money. You know, this is what it looks like. See, back to TWMC and no pull back down to my area. Then we have SPCE, I'm there looking at that. Then I go back to TWMC, look at it push. And it sucks. I started putting out some FIB levels to see if there's gonna be maybe a new area I can get long in front of on a pullback. But uh, I don't trade off of FIB levels, so like this thing could pull back to the 50. And if that's the only level there, I won't trade it. So that's just an extra, you know, I, I like to have multiple support areas for the pullbacks. That's what I've learned. Nothing there. Then the spy dumped. I'm looking for the bounce. Then I restart my E-Trade because I felt it was glitching. So then I finally settled and decided on entering the spy. 333 puts. I bought 10 contracts. Cost base is 72 cents. I'm looking to add more. Then this is what happens with this. I'm looking for that new low. We start to get that support at 33 at 333.50. And watch this this very next candle opens up and then if it, it shakes me out i'm like uh i feel like see i closed it out right there at 65 cents from 72 cents lost a few cents there i lost like 65 bucks so what, what went through my mind here is that i was afraid of the spy you know this is like a, a doji candle volume is pretty strong down here right now it's in front of the low of the day and i was afraid of it bouncing from there and just ripping my face off and going through nine the 90 ma going all the way up to vwap and then just basically using a chainsaw like freaking jason in a horror movie to rip my face off and have those contracts go from 72 cents all the way down to 30 cents so their same day expiration date so they're extremely volatile when the underlying equity uh in this case the spy etf is uh, very volatile itself so I could easily lose like that 50 cents so I didn't want to hold on to those too long and I knew I could re-enter if you know the the setup was there and I do and that's exactly what I do this right here right there boom I take my 10 my 10 contracts again better cost base is 61 cents uh, I'm looking for this rejection of the 9 EMA this whole area right here And then right there I added. That had me concerned, like big time. But then I felt more confident. 
And then I immediately wanted to take off some profit off right here at 33, uh, 333.50 area. So I put out an order. Oops, it got filled. I put out an order there at 75 cents, okay, from 61 to sell 10 contracts. And you'll see those execute here in a minute. And I'll show you all my orders in a minute here. So boom, those are gone. You can see I only have 10 left. Those got filled at 75 cents, which is what I had on the ask. And now I have 10 contracts from 61 cents and I'm looking to take those off in two cells, five contracts sold and then five contracts sold as we make a new low of day. But we don't do that. We start to bounce right there and right there since we bounced, I take those off, those 61 cent contracts, I take those off right there at a market order out. I don't know why I didn't, I don't see it there. Like the little box that pops up. Oh, there it is. I exited at 71 cents. Boom. So I made like another 100 bucks there. Now, that's $200 and change there, almost 240 bucks. I had made earlier 164 on SPCE, lost 65. So that's 100 left there. Puts me up on the day uh, three, over $300. You know as well as I do, that's a triple on the day. Almost a home run. So I'm super happy to end the week strong like that. You know, yesterday I was down a lot. I was able to make it all back and basically be break even a little tiny profit on the day if, if at most. So it's it's been a good, you know, it's been a good week. It's been a good week. Last Friday I made 600 bucks. I made, you know, there was four trading days this week. I made 200, 200, let's call it break even and now another 200. Uh, so I'm doing well on the week. I'm really happy. I'm sorry, 300. I made over 300 today. So I'm really happy with the trading. Now, let me show you what happens here. Now, this bounce, you're going to see a bounce here on SPY. There was a Fed member that was being interviewed, and he was talking about how they're going to do whatever it takes to keep this gravy, this gravy train going. That's not what he said directly. It's not a direct quote. It's just my interpretation. And the market took that very well, and it used it to bounce all the way back up to VWAP. Now, remember those... You remember those uh those contracts that were going off down here like at let's see here um right there they were going off like at 70 almost 80 cents look at what happens when it goes all the way up to vwap look at this look at that they're at 38 cents 37 cents that's how volatile this is so you got to mind your size be careful and not be uh, hard-headed you know if if your stop gets hit, you got to get out of the way. At least I follow those rules because you can lose 50%. You can lose 80% like this on options with same day expiration dates, like really, really fast. So you got to be careful about that. Then the interview is over and look at what happens. Look at that. Like, come on, man. But at this point, I was up real nice on the day i didn't want to risk it because if the spy all of a sudden decided to start trading in a very tight pattern i was gonna get chopped up and i could have gone from being up you know well over 300 dollars in the day to just being uh you know up 100 bucks up a 50 bucks or worse yet down 100 dollars now i would have done i could have gotten chopped up and i didn't want any part of that as you can see here the spy um let's go over to the spy the SPY went ahead and made new lows and those contracts were going off earlier at about 98 cents, 99 cents and uh, right down here in these lows. And that would have been real nice, you know, from 60 cents, but it is what it is. You know, I left probably like 200 bucks on the table by not re-entering this trade. So could have been, you know, almost a $600 day, uh, really five something, 500 something, but hey, you can't capture everything. So I'm really happy with the profit I've made today and this week and this month. And uh, now you can see that those same contracts that were down here going off at 98 cents, look at them at 44 cents, 43 cents right now because time decay is crazy on same day expiration uh, contracts. So that's it for me today. Let me know how you did. Drop it in the comment section below. Remember to hit the notification bell so you're alerted when the video comes out. There's a video that's gonna come out either today or tomorrow talking about the, uh, the the 10k subscriber fund your account challenge so when i get to 10,000 subscribers i'm going to fund the winner of something you know the winner of that free giveaway i'm going to fund their trading account so you're going to want to definitely not miss that video so make sure you hit the notification bell so you're alerted smash the like button for me subscribe to the channel comment in the comment section below let me know what you traded let me know how your week ended or simply just let me know what your weekend plans are and i'll catch you on the next one